Presenting the CW Crew, brought to you by the X Games. Hey, it's DJ Bonix with Alexa Score. The CW Crew is in downtown Minneapolis for Go Skateboard Day. Getting stoked for the X Games, August 1 through 4, downtown Minneapolis. Right. What's up, guys? Time late. Whoa. Go Skateboarding Day 2019. But. Go Skateboarding Day. I knew I was going to win. At least he's on wheels. All right, X Games, August 1 through 4. See you there. Yeah. Man, Jack is here with us. Jack, how you doing, bud? I couldn't be better, man. It's so cool to pull up to this scene and see for the first time, like, all these kids out here, all these, like, workers that are walking by and just seeing this scene of skateboarding. We're just celebrating skateboarding. Yeah, I mean, you know, when I was growing up, skateboarding was a little taboo, but now you have the mayor of Minneapolis upon us here, and, uh, you know, kids of all ages, people of all race, colors, and creeds enjoying uh, skateboarding, simple. It's exactly right, man. I mean, it's an Olympic sport now. I mean, once upon a time it was frowned upon and now it's celebrated downtown here in Minneapolis. And so I'm excited to see how big this event keeps growing. Can you give a piece of advice for nervous mom who has to think about their child wanting to get into something like skateboarding? I mean, I'd say skateboarding is safer than driving a car every day. You know, it's like every, it's just baby steps to greatness. What they're doing out here looks crazy, but everybody starts somewhere. So just take it one step at a time, wear a helmet, you'll be fine. Jack Matrani will be here hosting X Games 2019, baby. Let's go. Let's do it. What's it like coming back to Minnesota in the summer to share your love of skateboarding? Everyone knows Minnesota summers are the best, so I love to be here, my family's here, and it's uh, really cool to come out here and see everyone on this day. And you're coming off an injury. What's the plan for X Games? Are you going to be back? I'll be back for X Games, yeah. We're going to make it happen, no matter what. We'll force it. <laughs> and what, what do you think about the X Games here in Minneapolis? What are kind of some of your favorite events to do or tell other people to do? Um, I think it's just cool. It's in the U.S. Bank Stadium, so everyone just comes out, and then outside the U.S. Bank Stadium, they have booths and like all this fun stuff for free. So it's just cool for people to come out and uh, kind of see what X Games is all about, because a lot of people don't know about it in Minnesota. It's kind of new for us, so I think it's a cool opportunity to come out and check it out. If there are any girls out there watching who want to get into skateboarding, where should they start? To just do it. Any of these three uh, shops. Familia has a great skate park. Third Layer has a great skate park. So there's places, and even even the sidewalk, the streets, anywhere uh, you can you can try skateboarding anywhere. That's the awesome thing about it. Are you nervous for X Games 2019? Um. I don't know, this time around with Conscious, I'm kind of like in this mind, like state of mind where I'm just like, I'm just gonna have fun and skate as hard as I can. And that way, like, if I do good or I do bad, like, I'm still happy with how I skate, you know what I mean? I still feel good. So that's kind of my overall goal is to have fun and just skate. Will you be able to see the music or anything like that? Oh, yeah, for sure. Definitely, I'm gonna what make it out see? to the music. Uh, Wu Tang, Diplo. Um, I mean, the list goes on. I can't, like, think of them all off my head, but, like, so I'm stoked to, you know, go to another show. Yeah. See, see some great artists and stuff and just spend, like, spend it, come back and spend some more time here for sure. What do you think of U.S. Bank Stadium? Uh, for oh, that, sta that stadium's awesome. It's always crazy when they put everything in there. Because yeah. you, like, look around and, like, all this stuff that's been built, it's, like, all in there, a part of the stadium at one point. But then when it's done, it's done. Like, everything's gone. But it's, like, it's pretty crazy and cool to see how they put everything together. For people that may not know what these jumps and ramps are, tell us what these are and have you tried it out? And what oh, are yeah. your thoughts? So right here, we got a nice bank to rail right here. Okay. Um, we have kind of like a, a brick bank right there. Kind of has two sides. You can skate it like a bank to bank or you can skate it into the side, kind of like a wall ride uh, obstacle. On the other side of it, there's a ledge that sticks out. So it's like a nice, like, you know, black grindable ledge. Uh, a little bit farther down, we have a bank to rail that kind of goes across like a double barrel rail. Um, and also you can skate them as a quarter pipe over the fun box in the middle. Um, or you can even, if you want to get crazy, just go bank to bank. It's a pretty big gap, but I saw, I saw a dude earlier getting towed in and trying to hit it. And then at the very end, we have the famous Familia spoon with the apple on it. They bring that thing out like every time for skate events. It's a good, it's a good one. People always go for it on it. So.
How you doing, man? Great. Happy I... International Skateboarding Day. Thank you. Did you ever think as mayor you would be climbing the, the spoon and cherry? Well, this specifically is the reason that I got the job, you know, being able to skate down, or actually I did, being able to walk down this spoon and cherry right here and, and just see all these skateboarders out, like, they're pumped, they're excited, and we're proud to have them in the city. Can you skateboard? I can, but I can't. I can't lean into the ramp like yeah. this. So I if can't I was drop up there, in. I would just have to fall off. Oh yeah, no, it would be a disaster for me as well. But you know, like we're gonna get there. I've been trying to skateboard to work on occasion, mm -hmm. and I've got all sorts of scars on my arm to prove it. I'm not anywhere as good as some of these kids. But uh, yeah. can we put you down as a participant for X Games 2020? Oh, without a doubt. You think yeah. so? What What do you mean? Oh, I'm going skateboarding, man. I, oh, I, okay. I want to. I wanna, um, we're, we're dropping into a ramp. Awesome. Well, X Games has kind of become a regular yeah. event here in the Twin Cities. Yeah. Tell us what that means to the city. Well, you know, X Games is, is such an incredible event because not only is it bringing extraordinary athletes to the Twin Cities, it's also kind of a rallying point for the community. Um, you know, it's an event that we hosted, it's an event that we host well, and we want to see them come back for the long haul. And I, X Games was in LA for a long time, it was then in Austin for a long time. Yeah. I, w I would love it if it stayed here for a long time, but can we just make it a permanent home? What do you think? I, I think that sounds great, you know. Nothing against Austin or LA, but they don't hold a candle in Minneapolis. That's right. All right, we're here with Jason Zucker and Hendrix, of course. You and your wife, Carly, are kind of ambassadors for the X Games this year. What's that been like getting involved with this organization? It's been great. They're a first class organization. They do a lot of great things. I've been a huge X Games fan my whole life. Um, I grew up on dirt bikes, skateboarding, BMX, I mean, everything. Uh, being in Vegas, that's all pretty big. So it was a lot of fun. Can't say I was any good at any of them, but I did it, so it was fun. And, uh, you know, then obviously stuck with hockey, but um, it's always been a big part of my life. Do the coaches let you get on a skateboard anymore? Not a chance. No way. Me and DJ Bonnick playing down some fat tricks out here at Go Skateboarding Day. Catch us on the street. The CW crew on the CW Twin Cities, DJ Bonnix, Alexa Score, and John Foss. Like, follow, subscribe to, and love the CW crew.